KAAC reviews of COVID-19 preparedness announces formation of village-level quarantine centers. Untended portholes causing more accidents along NH36. Parents of 8 months girls seek help from KAAC and well-wishers. Hello viewers of Caribbean Long Life, you are with Julie BP with the latest news of the day. Now the news in detail. The huge surge in COVID-19 cases in Assam began since the arrival of returnees from different parts of the state. And this has increased the anxiety of the people and has directly increased the burden of health workers and the government. Here is a report. Assam saw the biggest surge in COVID-19 cases on Friday and Saturday, with 19 new cases reported at the time of filing this report. Among the new registered cases, 78 are from Sarusajai Quarantine Centre. Opening its tally in COVID-19 count, Dimahasau has also reported seven active cases, putting the district authority on high alert. All the seven cases have been identified as persons who have recently returned from outside the state. Dr. Sarma also informed on Sunday evening that Assam now has registered a total of 352 positive cases out, which 288 are still active. According to the Health Minister, Hojai with 77 cases has the highest number of cases among the district, while Dhemaji has zero cases at present. He added that West Karbi Anglong has two and Karbi Anglong has four positive cases of COVID. Till date, Assam had been able to conduct 55,862 tests, which is more than the number of tests conducted by Kerala. The minister had congratulated everyone related with testing process and that 5,000 beds are available for use for treatment of COVID-19 patients. The state also had adequate number of health professionals and enough medicine to treat 5,000 patients at a time. He also said that unless all of the beds of any hospital is full, no new hospital will be used to treat COVID patients. With several numbers of inbound flights arriving in Guwahati on Monday, the minister said that the government is firm on its stand of ruthless quarantine strategy. News X report, Carbian Long Live. With the rapid rise of COVID-19 cases coming in the state following return of large numbers of people from different parts of the country, the Karbi Anglong Autonomous Council is leaving to stone unturned to prevent the spread of the disease in the district. On Saturday, the KAAC CEM Tuliram Ronghang held a meeting in the KAAC Conference Hall to discuss about various measures to be taken in the fight against COVID-19. More from our report. The meeting was attended by Assam HUD Minister Sum Ronghang, MP Horen Singh Bi, Medical EM Khon Singh Rongpi, several EMs, MSCs, DC, SP Secretaries, Joint Director of Health Services and other officials. Following detection of COVID-19 cases from both Karbi Anglong and West Karbi Anglong, several important matters related to quarantine facility for those persons returning home from outside Northeast region were discussed. And as far as state government's earlier announcement, the KAEC also resolved for the immediate formation of village-level home quarantine committee in all the MSC constituencies comprising of local MSC as chairman, along with concerned VDC chairman, BDO Sarkari Gamburas, Anganwadi workers, and ANM MPW ASA as members. Accommodation will be provided by the district administration. Every constituency will set up quarantine center camp and a medical team will be employed to ensure availability of essential medical kits like PPE, mugs, globes and ventilators and other equipment in both the hill districts. The KAAC along with the district administration will also be responsible for preparing daily record of people entering the district from outside and the medical teams will be on duty to screen them at the entry point. It was also informed that those persons found symptomatic will be kept either at the hospital or at the recognized quarantine center. CEM Tuliram Ronghang had urged upon all selections of the society for their cooperation and support in Karbi Anglong's fight against COVID-19. 
News Desk Report, Caribbean Long Live. Let's take a quick commercial break. Stay with us for more news after this break. Protect your pigs from African swine fever. African swine fever is a viral disease of both domestic and wild pigs, which spreads quickly and kills most of the infected pigs. Humans are not affected by African swine fever. Sign and symptom High fever, loss of appetite, depression, weakness, red, blotchy skin or skin lesions, vomiting, diarrhea, coughing or difficulty breathing, abortion, and sudden death. Prevention no treatment and vaccine for African swine fever. Stop entry of visitors. Don't visit infected areas. Keep the pigs in enclosure. Separate the sick animals. Do not leave food in areas accessible to wild pigs. Dead animals should buried scientifically. Use bleaching powder about 10 to 15 gram or liter for regular cleaning. Use potas for food bath and 0.01% solution, 1 gram or 10 liter for spray inside sty. Keep in constant touch with nearest veterinary doctor. For more information, contact District Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Office, Karbi Anglong Depot at 8790-536892 or 700-280-3658. MS Punctual Stationery Just tap in once and feel the difference. MS Punctual Stationery at Ronkhila, Dipu Manjago, near Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Dipu Karbianglo. Where you will get all things available like groceries, beverages, and personal care items. Here you will also get necessary household items like electrical items, gift items, mixer grinder, table fan, ceiling fan, rice cooker and many more. Shop to the fullest and get 5% discount on stationary items and 10% discount on household items. Welcome back to Caribbean Long Life News after the break. As the season of rain advances, the condition of NH36 between Manja and the Mapur is getting worse day after day. Here is the latest report from our correspondent. As expected during rainy season, the treacherous road caused more accidents along the National Highway 36 between Manja and the Mapur. On Thursday, a truck fully loaded with potatoes fell into a deep boat hole and overturned. And on Friday, a truck carrying sand also met with the same fate. The road between Manja and the Mapur has countless potholes that, when it rains, drivers are left with no choices but to run their vehicles through the holes filled with water and loose mud. Most of the light motor vehicles thus take the road through Langwoku to avoid the potholes along the NH36 highway between Manja and Dilai. The stretch of the road between 10 mile and 14 mile has become so dangerous that it has become almost impossible for a vehicle to pass through. In the view of their own and public safety, the local Delhi police hired an excavator to fill potholes. Meanwhile, concerned authority and department had remained blind to the pathetic condition of this road for so long. It would be interesting to see as to how long the government would continue to remain blind towards the suffering of the people. Vijay P from the line, Caribbean Long Live. In the news coming in from Dolamara, Anderson Terang and Safira Rongpipi have sought financial assistance from the KAAC for the medical treatment of their eight months old daughter, Seng Mirsu, who is suffering from a very strange illness. More from our correspondent. Sengmir So Terangpi was born on 26 September 2019 to Anderson Terang and Safira Rongpipi, residents of Bogaram Tokbi village under Dolamara police station. Parents told that she was normal with no medical complications during her birth. But after two and a half months, life changed for the little girl and she is now fighting for every breath of her life. 
In addition to this, the parents told that their 8 months girl experiences continuous vomiting, sleep for a short nap in the daytime, but would remain awake throughout the night and cry in pain. Her parents and relative had taken her for medical consultation at Bokaghat, where the doctor had told them that some parts of her body may swell if she continues vomiting for a long time. As told by the doctor, Seng Mirso's head had swollen. <laughs> The girl was later taken to Malasi Hospital where the doctor told that there is water in her hand and could only be cured when water is vacuumed. The doctor further told the parents that the treatment was not possible in local hospitals and that the expenditure would also be very high. The parents are now under deep stress as they do not have money to take their daughter to big hospital for treatment. The parents of the girl are now looking forward KAAC and well wishes for financial assistance in order to save their loving girl who is going through immense pain and heart. Ardison Rongpar from Dolamara, Karbiang Long Lai. In pursuance of the state government's decision and KAAC's resolution for the formation of village-level home quarantine committee in every constituency of the Hill Districts, Amri Block BDO Rita Milikpi formed several committees at Bhoksong High School, Dalimbari Model School and Borkok in West Karbiangnong District on Sunday. Local MSC Prabhachan Rotaro, Dalimbari Outpost in Charge, Hiren Gohain, VDC Chairman Surjo Bordoloi, Amri Development Block JE and leading citizens of Dwar Amla constituency were also present at the meeting, which was convened following notification West Karbi Anglong Deputy Commissioner on May 22nd. The seven-member constituency level committee will be headed by local MSC as chairman and respective BDO as member secretary. The committee at Boksong also appointed Boksong High School Principal Krishna Kantasinha as in charge of the quarantine center and directed the committee members to make effective quarantine arrangements to deal with the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in the interior areas. This committee will review the arrival, registration and quarantine arrangement for the returnees and submit its report to the concerned authority. It is comprised of Gaumburas, Sarkari Gaumburas, two leading citizens appointed by minister, Anganwadi workers and Asha workers from every revenue villages. He online apply to review in order. Karbar account number nine, Karbar mobile nine, Karbar pan card nine, then he came out by her to a company assessment. Zarkana Tehulika online apply to review for nine. Speaking at the committee formation meeting, local MSC Prabhat Chandra Taru urged upon the local people for the strict maintenance of norms and guidelines including social distancing, wearing masks and maintaining hygiene. He also stressed that the country and state has now entered a very crucial phase in the battle against the virus. He urged the public for continued support and unity in order to prevent the outbreak of the pandemic. He also made fervent appeal upon the members of the committee and public to respect doctors and other health workers. Meanwhile, video Amri blog Rita Milikbi also emphasized on ensuring social distancing and obey guidelines stressing the prevention is the best medicine. Bidasin Rongpi reporting from Borgaon for Carbiano Live. And that's all we have with us for today. Thank you for watching Caribbean Online.